This is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, and the tennis pastor coming back at you again with another video. All right, people, I want to respond to a couple of subscribers. They responded under the video I made yesterday where I said, I know who the goat is and uh, it's a little secret, you know, and uh, I would just try to let people know that you need to include everything when it comes to the goat you know i mean and um uh, and i was just I, my point was to say that um that thing about being a great icon a a great legend the 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 the, the, the number one legend uh your impact and uh your contribution to the game that if you are topping those four categories, that should count. I'm not saying that's the only thing now, but that should count towards your goatness big time. And it count a lot, okay? But I want to respond to a couple of people, and I'm not going to call out their name, but they know who I'm talking about. They, 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 they got in the comment section now. Both of them, now here's what was interesting now. I like what they were saying you know, they was basically saying um, that Djokovic and Nadal, they have surpassed Federer and uh, that that Federer, he's not the GOAT, that he can't be the GOAT. And they gave their arguments and their arguments made sense. But now here's where they messed up with me, though. Here's where they left. People, the one thing about me, even if I disagree with you, if you make sense to me, though, I'm good. I'm good. Really, I'm serious. You disagree with me all day, but I just make some type of sense. But here's where they lost me right here. Now, they didn't lose. Like I said, both of the people made good arguments why Federer isn't the GOAT based on the way they measure a GOAT. You know, now in the video I made, I was just trying to tell people you got to include everything, okay? And I gave those four categories that you should include, okay? But so, but here's what here's where they messed up with me, man. They started talking about Federer is just Federer is more image, and he's more uh he's more on the his his popularity outweighs his substance, okay? And and they were saying one got really bad. Now he, you know what? I should have got. I should have got his name. I got his name pitched, but I don't think I can pronounce it right, so I don't want to mess the name up. Okay, but he was making. He made a great argument. He wrote me a book. The text was that long. The text was a mile long. He was. He made some great arguments, but then this is where he messed up. I hate to see somebody make great arguments. Then all of a sudden he said something crazy. He said. Uh, uh, people just liking Federer and think Federer's the goat because he wore nice clothes and because he dressed nice and because he got a nice style. Well, well, now the thing about how Federer plays, if you win him with that style, that does matter. I think that does matter. But no, he was just saying, uh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know he was trying to make a point, but I don't know if he really meant that. Like talking about people like Federer just because he dressed nice and wore nice white clothes or whatever. He was saying stuff like that, and and that basically saying Federer is more about his greatness is based on popularity than his actual substance. People, listen to me. Listen, people, listen to me. Y'all know me. The Dow fans know this. Federal fans know this. Djokovic fans. Djokovic fans definitely know this about me. Because I've done some hell of a videos on Djokovic. When Djokovic is doing his thing, I've done hell of a videos, man. If somebody say something unfair about somebody, about one of those three, the GOATs, or anybody, but since we're talking about the GOATs, I come to the GOATs rescue quick. I, people, even me, 
When the Dow only had two U.S. Opens, there was a federal fan that would get in there saying, Nadal can only win on clay. And I jumped in the comment section saying, stop it, man. Nadal's already won two U.S. Opens. And then I predicted Nadal was going to win another year. He won a U.S. Open that year when he beat Kevin Anderson. Then he came back a couple years after that and won another U.S. Open. So I, I couldn't stand to hear people say Nadal can only play on clay. And not only that, Nadal's been in the, uh, even the Australian Open Finals many times, the Wimbledon Finals many times, the U.S. Open Final many times, okay? So, in Djokovic, I've defended Djokovic. I've been defending I, I remember for Federal fans, was really, because I went, when I went to Wikipedia back in 2018, and that's when it hit me how great Djokovic is. Oh, wow. Look at this guy breaking all these records. And I would say, man, this guy already got records Federer doesn't have. He just ain't got the majors yet. I know he got the majors now. And Federer fans are getting in there saying, no, uh, Joe, Federer best years is better than Djokovic's best years. I would say, man, listen here. Djokovic got records that even Federer doesn't have. So I will defend Djokovic. I will defend Nadal. Now, and now I'm finna defend Big Fed. Now, Fed, I got you, bro. Fed, I got you. People, listen, y'all. I probably should have went back to Wikipedia. You know how Wikipedia break down the years? They'll start with Federer's first year uh, when he wanted to beat Philip Pousas in 2003. See, I can remember this because I lived through it. That's what I'm going to tell y'all, people. I don't need to go to Wikipedia. I probably should go so I won't misquote some, a couple of facts. But you guys are good. If I if I say a stat that's wrong, you know, my general analysis is usually correct. But people, I live through Fed. People, Federer, is, this is no popularity sh shit. I'm a curse. I'm a curse if you, you two can ban the video. People, I am so, people, I'm going to tell y'all something. Listen to me, people. Not only did I live through it, people, during that time, I was training and playing. It was on a recreational level and like little tournament level. Like, like even like even open tournament level. I played in some open tournaments. Now, I never want to be honest. I never won a challenger or an open tournament, but I, I could compete though. So I was, I, so I was a serious tennis player. I was not a 3-5. I was not a four five, but I but and I, I was a five five at one point, but then I moved to like lower open, like lower open, okay? But people listen here. I live through Fed. I don't need nobody. Uh, I don't need to go to the newspapers. I don't need to twist stuff. I don't need to listen to nobody. People listen here. When Federer beat Philippuses, the in that first Grand Slam, people. This, this was a tradition back then. I think people still do it, not tennis players. I don't go to the park that much, but when I just play in the park, you can tell Sunday afternoon after a, a finals has been uh, finished that morning, you know, everybody, they already watch the pros on TV, so everybody want to run to the tennis court and and and, and, and play some tennis because they excited, they inspired after watching whoever the pro was that won the Wimbledon and straight in open or whatever. So, I remember the day Federer beat Philippoussis at the Wimbledon. People, listen to me. Federer haters, listen to me. Djokovic fans, listen to me. Nadal fans, listen to me. That's what I'm telling y'all. Federer is still GOAT something. If you don't want to call him number one GOAT, he is a GOAT. He got GOAT status and, and more. He got a lot of it. It's solidified. He'll never lose it. People, when Federer beat Philippoussis and everybody came to the court to play some tennis and talk about it. And another reason people would come on Sunday afternoon, they also came to talk about the match. People, you should have heard the way they talked about Federer. It was, this ain't no the way he's dressed. Oh, he looks good. He's good for television. Uh, 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 they were not saying Federer should be in commercials. They were not saying Federer is marketable. Listen to what these people were saying. And they was getting up swinging their rackets. They were saying, I never seen this before in my life. I never seen a guy this smooth. I never seen, this guy's like a computer and it's so smooth. People, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no popularity, nothing. And it, it, it was Federer's guy. His substance created the popularity. See, these the, the two uh, subscribers, they got it backwards. They saying the popularity, they saying that the popularity 
uh, created some fake substance with Federer. No, 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 no. Federer's substance created his popularity. Now, and, and, and people, not just the way he played, that he won with the people. So people was talking, you should have heard it. People, I have never heard. When Djokovic won his first major in this straight and open. Now, I know Djokovic wasn't Djokovic then. So Djokovic fans, I'm aware of that. He became Joker, he, he became like the God mode Djokovic a uh, couple years or three years after that, okay, 2011 or whatever you want to say. But still, when Djokovic won his first major, nobody was running to the part saying, I've never seen it like this before. Oh, my God, this is a new era. This is th this guy's better than Pete Sampras. Oh, my God. They were saying that about federal people. Listen to me. With my, I mean, I'm looking at this. I'm not talking about commentators. I'm talking about live at the park. Average Joe Blow was talking this way, okay? Now, let's move on. People, when Nadal won his first French Open, now I know he was only 18. I know Nadal fans going to get in here and say, well, he wasn't. Nadal got better. But people, even with Nadal, that was impressive that Nadal, Nadal won his French Open at 18 years old. Plus, he was a guy that could, that was a, a nemesis to Federer. And people was wondering, why is this Nadal guy such a nemesis to Federer? But people, even as impressive as that was, people was not saying, oh my God, this guy Nadal, he's going to create a new era. Lord have mercy. And people, this was during the same time, but people don't realize, even though Federer is five years older than Nadal, as far as champions, they almost the same age. Federer won his uh, first slam. 2003, July, Wimbledon. Let's fast, fast forward to the next year, before the next year, 10, 10 months or so. Nadal, 2004, right, wins his first French Open. So as far as champions, they almost the same age. You understand what I'm saying? So as far as champion life. But people, even when the Dow won, that was impressive. People talked about it, but but but, but people didn't know the Dow was up. But the people didn't know the Dow was going to end up being this great, not even close. But I'm just saying to y'all, I'm trying to show y'all Federal built his substance, not popularity, not even though it was popular, but not some fake, uh, fake, uh. Uh, uh, how you say illusion of greatness? He's built his greatness from day one. I'm talking about when he won his first slam. And people, let me tell you so much. People say that day, people. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna move on. I see this video gonna go long, but I got to keep it long. If, if, if I, I got to tell y'all, people, listen to me, people. People was already saying. Think about this, people. When Djokovic won his first major, nobody said Djokovic is going to be better than Pete Sampras. Okay. Oh, seriously, nobody was saying that. Nobody was saying that. When Nadal won his first major, even his second major, people were not saying Nadal going to be greater than Pete Sampras. People, after that first major, listen to what people in the park were saying. Man, this guy look better than Pete Sampras guy. This 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 federal guy, I have never seen nothing like this. I think this guy going to break Sampras records. I think, he, I, I think he's better. You know what? Now, let me be honest now. I think people didn't know if he was going to break Sampras records. I want to be truthful with his video. But people did say this. This guy, this, I think this guy's better than Pete Sampras. They said, I think he's better than Pete Sampras. I heard it. And I think a couple of people did say he's better than Pete Sampras. But people definitely said this. I think he's better than, I think he's better than Pete Sampras. Okay, people. So this is no, and he won too. So the people that's saying, this is just Federer, it's just, he, his image is built on popularity. His greatness and goatness is all built on popularity. And because he's loved by the media, get it. Yeah, listen, if he is loved by the media, it's because he backed it up with substance. Let's move on. So people, so Federer, so he wins in 2003. I mean, I'm trying to just follow Federer's career here in my mind. I remember Roddick wins the U.S. Open that year because I was saying, oh, mm. so Federer sort of, he didn't win. It didn't like Federer just roll, but then Federer, God, I'm not sure who won the ATP championship. It could have been fair, but maybe not. I'm not going to say it. But I do know this. Federer won the Australian Open, and then that was it, man. He was on a roll. He was number one in the world, and he already had taken the number one spot from Roddick, or whoever. I think he had taken it from Roddick. Uh, uh, but Federer was number one in the world, people. And really, people, the only person that would be... Federer win like 30, 40... Whatever, if it felt like it was 50 consecutive matches and only Nadal would beat him. People, listen to me. Do y'all realize what I'm, do you realize what I just said? 
Like when the French Open would come, then Nadal, thank God, thank God for Rafael Nadal, that somebody would beat Federer. People, let me tell y'all something, people. People, I'm a, I, you remember I told y'all Pete Sampras is my favorite player, even to this day. Even though I like Federer and the big three more than I used to like them, people, I used to pull against Federer because people listen to me. I want y'all to understand. So this is the tennis prophet. I'm like looking at Federer. Federer just winning, just winning, just winning. Uh, and only this Nadal guy can, not every time now, because remember uh, Federer did beat Nadal uh, uh, the 2006 Wimbledon, 2007 Wimbledon. See, y'all see what I'm saying? This, that ain't popularity. He, Federer beat Nadal. Okay, I know Nadal came back and beat him the next year, but this whole idea, Federer is pop, it is popularity, but the popularity is based on his substance, not just some fake substance, it's real substance. This guy brought a left, see, see this is what people don't appreciate about Federer now. Well, people, you know what, if Federer came back, even when he played, when, a couple years ago and was hurt, and then finally he had to go back and was injured again. I was still like, whoa, this game still looks good. People, can you imagine what Federer's game looked like 20 years ago? He was a he was ahead of his time. I'm just saying that Federer's game today still is advanced, probably, or at least I think Federer's game today is still advanced. Okay? So, but let, let's get back to that. So Federer's number one, and only this Nadal can beat Federer. Now, maybe a couple other people may win one here and there. But Nadal would beat Federer when they would meet sometime, not all the time, but definitely in the French Opens. So y'all see what I'm saying? Federer is pretty well winning all three slams, plus he's in the slam that he loses against Nadal, the French Open. People, that's not, do y'all understand this? For three or four consecutive years, this guy was in what? Almost all four major finals? And for like at least three years, at least three, he won three of them. Oh, and thank God, Nadal, the greatest clay quarter of all time, stopped being fed. Now, you got to be a fool to be talking about this guy's career and greatness is built on popularity. Okay, people? Now, let's move on. So, this guy... Big Fed, people listen to this. He finally surpasses the great Pete Sampras. So, if you think, if you listen, people, listen, listen, there is no way you can be some popularity clown and bypass Pete Sampras, okay? And so he bypasses Pete Sampras. He gets the 16 majors. Then he has a uh, a falling off. We know, fam. I won't go through all that because I'm sort of, I'm sort of moving through. I don't want to go through his every every specifics of Federer's career. But then this 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 popularity guy that has no substance that these two subscribers claim that this popularity guy. The only reason he's great is because he wore nice clothes and be nice white clothes at the Wimbledon. This old guy comes back in 2017 has a resurgence, people. And people got to understand something, man. Now we finna talk real substance now. Who did he play? And this was a big match, man. This was a huge match. Who did Federer play in the Australian Open Finals 2017? Okay. I guess it must have been somebody who's not good because because like they say, if Federer's career is built on like some fake stuff that he ain't really as good as he is. People, y'all know the game. This was a hell of a match, people. It was Rafael Nadal. What a match. Fifth setter. Federer was down 3-1 in the fifth set. Do y'all hear those? Do y'all see those backhands he hit on Nadal in the fifth set? Big fed. People, come on now. This is real stuff. This is Rafael Nadal. 
People, listen, federal resurgence, people. Federal, this is, he's like 35, going on 36, I believe. People, then they come here in California, the, the Indian whales. This, this, this fake popularity guy that they call Big Fed, he fake his faces Raphael Nadal again, beats Nadal straight sets again, people. Then, people, listen, this fake popularity guy, 2017. This guy who who he really ain't no goat. He's fake goat, and he's fake like they say. He only wore nice clothes. He beat he faced the Dow in the Miami Finals 2017. I hope I'm getting this right. I'm trying to roll. He beat the Dow straight sets. That's wiping him off the court. People listen to me. And then Big Fan goes to the Wimbledon. He wins the Wimbledon, people. Talk to me. Talk to me. And then he got hurt. He was the favorite to win the U.S. Open. And the Dow wins the U.S. Open. But Federer was the favorite. Had he not got hurt before the uh, Montreal, the, the tournament in Canada. Okay, people. And then uh, let's just push it forward. People, even just, when was this, 2019? In the Wimbledon? Okay, we're fair. People got to understand People, Federer was just, he was, people, Pat Federer was an inch. People, listen to me, an inch, inch. He missed that ace, had double match point in the Wimbledon final. He would have had 21 majors, would have been the first person of 21. Everybody would have declared him the GOAT. Y'all know you the official GOAT, officially, no argument. He missed the ace. He got 45 against Djokovic, but the tennis guys didn't give it to him. He missed an ace by this much. An ace that Federer normally makes for that smooth first serve. But people, I want to back up a little bit. This fake guy, this fake illusion goat Federer, people, I like his uh, the semifinal match before the finals where he lost against Djokovic and had two match points. It was the semifinal match that I thought was actually more impressive. People don't talk about it. Even Federer fans don't talk about it. Nadal fans don't want to talk about it. People, he faced Nadal, and it was one of Federer's best matches. It was how he beat Nadal. Okay, people? And um, I want to bring up the, the, the Nadal rivalry. I know Nadal got a better head-to-head, -head and, uh, and the, the clay counts. Clay counts. Clay is a surface. So I'm not one of those people saying, well, it was on Clay. No, no, no. Clay counts. And Nadal, he, he first beat Federer at the Miami. And Nadal has beat Federer numerous, numerous times off the Clay. So that's not an excuse. But people, besides just a couple matches the last five uh, years, Federer has owned Nadal on the non-clay surfaces. And I'm talking about beating on straight sets. And I just told you three of the matches, the Australian Open 2017, Indian Wales, uh, Miami. And I think uh, I'm trying to think of another cut. Maybe he did. Yeah, in the Wimbledon. And Federer, he got so comfortable beating the Dow on non-clay surfaces. This fake, fake popularity, popular Federer that's his, that has no substance, that doesn't deserve to be in GOAT status. Uh, man, come on, man, please, people, yeah, people, this guy's real, and people, listen here, people, if you believe Djokovic is the GOAT, and I have no problem with somebody saying that, and, and, and he could be if you measure, however you measure the thing, if you believe that, people, listen to me, Djokovic just passed Federer with slams. So that tell you right there, think how hard that was for Djokovic. He just, just a couple weeks ago, he just passed Federer. And he only got one more slam than Federer. So he, the act like Federer just disappeared off the planet and Federer is just a popular guy that walk around in nice clothes is totally ridiculous. Okay, people? And Nadal, Nadal just got two more majors than Federer. Nadal wasn't number one for 310 weeks. Federer got him beat in that area. Nadal doesn't have six ATP finales. Nadal has zero. Federer got him beat in that area. Federer got Nadal. I know Nadal got him beat. Got Federer beat in a lot of areas. Federer got Nadal beat in a lot of areas. So stop acting like Federer is just some popularity guy. And acting like Djokovic and uh, Nadal, somebody said, well, they're the two gladiators and they totally have left old fed. 
No, no, no. Fed is still right there, man. I, even if you forget that, I'm talking about with statistics. I'm not even talking about impact and icon and legend and his contribution to the game through how he played. I'm just talking about his stats. Okay, people? So I hope that I don't never, ever hear some foolishness that Federer's career is based on, was built on popularity. No, it's the opposite. His substance, his substance built the popularity. All right. Just the same way Tiger Woods. It was Tiger Woods play that made him popular. It was Michael Jordan play. It was Michael Jordan's play that made him popular. Okay, people, tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, signing off. Have a good That's what I would do. Tennis preacher, prophet. Let's talk about it.